Hello, it's Jeremy with The Level Designer, and I'm here with my uh, second video for week four. And uh, if this is your first time watching one of these videos, uh, basically I'm doing Blocktober, which is a period during the month of October where different level designers can practice on their gray boxing skills and, and making different levels. So uh, this week we are on our last project for this month and we are working in Unreal Engine and we're making a top-down stealth game with the theme of Science Lab. So that's what we are currently working on uh, for this video and uh, kind of to remind ourselves where we last left off we have this uh, nice looking uh, level right here and uh, if we kind of play uh, we have this nifty selection that kind of comes with this uh, top-down stealth toolkit that uh, I've bought um, on the um, on the unit uh, on the Unreal Assets store uh, and I can uh, provide a link to that uh, toolkit uh, for you to download um, in the description below but uh, you have all these different tools that are uh, available out of the box uh, so I'm gonna just go with the silence tan gun and I'm gonna hit start and uh, as you can see right here, um, this is kind of a, uh, a starting area for us. So we uh, see that we're kind of in this uh, weird looking laboratory room. Uh, so um, to kind of refresh what we did, we made a little hallway, made a little room here. And then we're going to walk into this hallway here and then um, just make sure all of this is working properly. And we can run, we can do a whole bunch of different stuff. And then we got this upper room here. And then we have this hallway And then we got this room right here. So there's a, f a few different um, areas that we've created last game. Uh, so let's really expand on this. So uh, one of the first things I want to work on is just all of the different walls and, and, and whatnot that are in this area. And what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to... A, open up the brush editing mode and then I'm gonna go to the geometry here and I'm just gonna place a box uh, and and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually build out the the walls and uh, whatnot so I'm just going to place this here Try to get it to a point where this is kind of lined up with the edge there. Um, I think that's pretty much lined up with that right there as well. I'm going to align this up with this wall. And I'm going to select the top here and then I'm going to move all of this up and just kind of match it with the height of the other, other wall. So there we go. We have that going and then um, we have that. Uh, but what I might actually do is uh, make this a little bit more viewable. So um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this and then I'm going to duplicate it. And make this something that can be used on this side. So I'm just going to align it with uh, that edge there. And then this, I'm actually going to go ahead and move this out to here and then I'm gonna extrude this out extrude that out to about 
I'll say there, and then this I will extrude out to here. And all I'm trying to do is just create a good, um, a good kind of hallway. So I got that going and then I'm going to extrude this out and just have it go up to the wall there. And then have the same go out to here. I just want to make sure all this uh, lines up. So I'm going to try to select this face if I can. And then I'm going to line that up with kind of this corner in this wall here. That's good. Now the, the thing that I'm trying to figure out, um, the thing that I, I really need to try to figure out is um, some of the view stuff. So if we select this, um, we might want to take this down, right? And, and make this hallway a little bit more view viewable. Um, but what I'm actually going to do instead of that is I'm going to move this back. And and what I want to try to um, what I try wh what I want to try to accomplish is. Uh, a good area where if we're in this hallway we can actually see our, our character so I, I want to kind of line up the bottom edge here with this and then line it up kind of like what we did with uh, this hallway uh, I want it to be kind of more viewable uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pull this up more. Um, I think I know exactly where I need it to be at. Uh, so that's something that I'm going to play around with. So um, with this face selected, I'm going to pull it up to here because I think that's where I, I needed it to be. And then I'm going to extrude this out. don't think I'll be able to really do much with this. Yeah. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of start all over. I'm just going to do this. So um, I'm actually going to copy this. I'm just going to put that over there. And then uh, I'm just going to move this over here. And, th and this way I don't have to worry too much about um, having the different kind of shapes that I'm putting in here. Uh, I don't have to rely on this block um, in order to do anything weird. So uh, I'm just going to move this down. And I'm going to extrude this up to make it look like that. And then I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to actually select this. And from what it seemed like, it seemed like that was kind of a, a good area for this to be in. So um, I'm just going to kind of play around with some of this and uh, try to get it to a point where if I'm playing the game it's going to be really hard to see kind of that uh, area so we'll uh, so yeah um, that's fine
Now, the, the thing I want to try to maybe do, uh, and, and we could do the same thing over here as well. Um, is find out if we want to have... The bottom part there lower, but I don't think that's what I want. So, um, because the thing is, we could have this go down here. And that way, if we play it, we can actually see the entire like hallway. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. And then that's kind of just a weird kind of slant to it. I kind of like that though. I might add some kind of just weird, I don't know. But my, my kind of worry is I don't want it to be necessarily to, I don't want it to be necessarily too noticeable. So I think with that, well, let me actually play it again and then I'll go back to kind of that area. So it's like that, right? So if I do this, instead I could do this and just pull that out like that. And I might do that just because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more normal, I guess. Like it still kind of has this weird thing, but if you go down here, um, I don't know. I don't think it'll be as noticeable and it will be kind of an interesting thing where it's like, well, we have this kind of so, you know, you don't go in here. And, and there's probably other ways you could go about this, but I think that's kind of good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this. If I can, there we go. I'm just gonna move this down. Again, you can kind of get a good sense of where it needs to go. So I think it was just below the kind of the the line here. So maybe like that. What you could do is you could actually extend this. And then we could actually extrude this out to here. Hit edit. Kind of have this go there and then we can actually how about I go up to there and then what we could actually do is um, if we just click select this uh, we could have this really go high up Or go however high you feel like you need it to. Um, and we could select all of these. I could actually extrude these up. I guess it doesn't want to do that.
Okay, I need you to select... There we go. I'm trying to see if I can extrude it. There we go. So I kind of have it extrude. Wait, what? edit <laughs> there we go and we will extrude this up to here I'm just trying to make this actually work. Okay. Sometimes these don't always want to work properly, but hopefully now it will actually extrude up. No, it does this just weird thing. Um, I don't like it. I wish it wouldn't do that. So, I don't think that's going to work, um, sadly. But what we could do is, um, what we could do is just duplicate this, as annoying as that is. And then we could just place this up. Like so. I'll just select. Okay, can you please not like? Okay, so this is not. <laughs> this is just like not really working. I'm trying to select all of these faces, and it just is not wanting to play nicely. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Select, please. No, I don't know why it's just not. Like. Just select the top faces. That's all I need you to do, please. Nope. It, and it's like creating like these extra... No, stop doing that. Whatever. I don't even care. No, I, I don't want it to create like... It keeps creating like that. And I don't want that. That's what I want. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the same kind of level, maybe just a little bit. I think that's fine. And these I'm going to, uh, these, no, I want you to select the, like the edge, please. Thank you. Select the edge. Thank you. Is that? <laughs> okay, so this I'm going to pull all the way back to that square. Yeah. Maybe up a little bit more, I think, is how I want. 
Okay, so I think this is kind of what I want to go for. Uh, and then if I select this face. Huh. I'm going to select that. I'm just going to move this both up. And hopefully what that will do is that will create what I need. Now we could also extrude this out. And then extrude this all the way out there. Go to edit. Just create a good sized wall there and then this you could use kind of create kind of this right here I think that's pretty good Let, let's play this and see what uh what it looks like so we have a good kind of starting hallway here um, we could add in, you know, doors, different things. Um, just really trying to make it to where the the hallway, for the most part, is, you know, looking good. And instead of having, I, I'm thinking instead of having, like, it, I, I might try to make it where if you're standing in the middle of this hallway, um, it, it kind of is more up. So... I'm going to try to actually maybe bring that up more. So uh, that's just something I'm going to have to probably play around with. Uh, so let me actually do that right now. So I'm going to say this right here. This right here. And this right here. So... Actually, I'm going to do that in reverse. That right there. That right there. That, nope. That's not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. I think I messed up. Because this doesn't like me sometimes. Nope. All I want is just the edges. I, and that's the thing is I really wish that these geometry tools allowed me to like specific like kind of like with uh, Pro Builder allowed me to specifically select no and that add like stop doing that that is not what I want it keeps adding like it, it keeps like subdividing no it's not what I want just select the thing. No, it's not what I want. No. This is so annoying sometimes. No, that I do not want you to stop subdividing the face. Thank you. That's all I wanted. So I'm going to just line this up. And hopefully that will actually create more of a, a better thing. I'm going to do the same with this. So I'm going to try to select this. Just bring this up. So now I'm going to play. I'm just going to see what this looks like. So yeah. So this is, I think, much better. Um, it's not so in the way. Um, oh yeah, I think this is going to work. I think this looks much better. Um, it, it looks more like a hallway, um, but it's not so noticeable. Because um, if this was, like, out, then it, yeah. And you can kind of see, like, the shadow and stuff, so I don't think it's too bad. Uh, there's something really weird going on, though, that uh, I might have to... Yeah, so um, I'm going to have to move this 
Actually, this, I gotta... Yeah, this I gotta move up, I, I, I wanna say. So if I just move that up there. Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> Might not be like perfect, but just kinda move that in. works I think I don't think it's too bad you won't really notice it in the game or you really shouldn't that much so I think it's fine um, I like again you could always really go in here and and uh, well, play around with the edges if you really want to make it look nice but the problem is I am going to keep selecting different stuff. That's kind of the problem with uh, the geometry tools. Like, it's really hard to really specifically select something. And that's what I don't like about it. Like, just select the edge. All I need you to do is just do that. Like, I don't know why it's so difficult. Unreal. Unless it's actually, like... I don't know. It it, huh, it just it doesn't really work all the time. I feel like you have to really like be on like whatever. No, it, whatever. I don't even care. It's fine. So that's gonna be that. And then what I could actually do too is uh, I could just copy this. And just uh, bring this over here. Uh, slide that up. Make sure that... Uh, you just slide that over. You got that and then you could actually go to this face right here and then uh, just pull that there extrude it so let's extrude this wall out extrude this all the way to this wall and there we go. I, I think we have a pretty good uh, hallway going. So I have that. And kind of go and, and. You know, we have this full hallway that has different uh, different things and whatnot. So this, we might want to move down a bit. We got that. So, um, let's try to put in a few uh, mechanics in this. Uh, so we have this top-down uh, stealth toolkit. And then we have... Uh, we should have different things. So we have AI, patrol guards. We have different like patrol guards and whatnot. So um, I don't really want to put any guards though. Uh, what I really want to do is put in like a, uh, a camera. So that is going to be under AI. Under. Okay. So I just want to get the kind of the area. So if we go into AI. 
and there's going to be automated surveillance. So we have a few options. So we have like a, a turret here and then we have a, a surveillance camera. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, I'm just going to put in a, a camera here. Whoa. I don't know why it's not. It, it won't allow me to, <laughs> it won't allow me to like rotate it. Why is this so weird? Hmm. That's really weird. I don't know. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know why it's let's just let's just attach this and see what what happens. So okay. So like we there is this camera, but it's not really doing what I want it to. I can't move it, which is really annoying. I can only really move it like on the wall. I can't rotate it though. I can't like, okay. I don't know why it's doing that, but. It's a camera. Uh, that's not what I want. So, I don't really know how this is supposed to move because, like, I got, maybe I just need a rotation. Okay, so there is that. Um, it just, yeah, I don't know why it, it, it's not. Location. So what we could do is we could go into here and then um, if I go into the blueprint and go to the viewport, um, what we should be able to do is just like move that up maybe. Oh, let's actually do this. Let's move the arrow in the mesh. Why can I not simply like select two things at once? Unreal. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. So we're going to go and do this and we're going to just kind of, no, I'm not going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. So we kind of have a, a camera here. And uh, we could really play around with um, just how 
this is, so, um, and then if you get caught, it's gonna alert somebody. So if we went to the AI, I went to patrol car guards, we could actually, we could actually put in a, a guard right here if we wanted to. Like, I don't know why this is not, like, I don't know why this is, like, not rotating things. It's really weird. Yeah, like, like it, I can rotate it through the thing here, but I actually can't rotate it. It's very annoying. And I, I might, I, I'm going to try to get that fixed because that is kind of annoying, but we'll work on it with the transform here. Um, but what I want to do is I just want to, I just want to, uh, fix the settings here for this guard. Um, there's, there's different things that you can, um, you can select for them from what I remember. So there's like a um, navigation. There's a character movement. Uh, I know there's different things on here. Avoidance. But I just want to take a look at, and see what happens if we that guard doesn't. Let's see what. Yeah, so this guy is gonna be. Oh. Okay. So restart. So I guess. Really, he only will kind of walk. So he'll kind of patrol the area a bit. And this, this guy is just kind of a... Uh, this guy is just kind of a random, um, like, guard. He's just going to walk in kind of random areas. So, I mean, you can kind of uh, play around with, uh, you know, getting through this area. And then you have this guy, which you'll kind of have to walk around. We can kind of just place a, a one guard in here just to kind of give people... Oh, he's coming. Oh, we might want to not have a, a random walking uh, enemy, though, like, as the first thing in the uh, the game. But, um, yeah, we can kind of play around with that. I do know that, um, there's a few things that we can do that I, that I know of. But I do know that, um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I, I think I remember, yeah, yeah. So you have a bunch of different kind of things in this. So, um, you have the guard here. You have this. So you have all these different ones. 
And then you have character movement. You have patrol movement. You have stimulus generator. You have LOS visualizer, which is, uh, don't know what that really is. You have AI perception. So if we go to patrol movement control, this is where we can set up uh, all of our different um, types of, of movement. So um, we could have a randomized search. Uh, we could have a des designated routes or you can have a guard location. So if we have a guard location, uh, this basically should, um, Just be guard, uh, just be like a, a guard location or whatnot. So what we could do is we could just set up a. You just set up like a, a guard. Why does this never work? Like, I I cannot. I can't simply, like, oh my gosh, I don't know, this thing is just kind of annoying me, because I, I can't simply, like, move guys around, I, I can't, oh my gosh, okay, whatever, I don't even really care, okay, I'm just gonna delete this guy, because I, I don't, I don't know, I, it's so hard to, like, do anything with him. I don't know why it's been so difficult. Can I not even delete him? Just delete. There we go. Let's see what happens if I try this again. You can't. Okay. You do that, but you can't move him on the Y. You can only do this. That's so dumb. I don't know why it's. You can't, you can only move him on like, there has to be something that's locking him to only moving on the, the Y, the, the, like the X axis. I don't access, I don't know why. Character movement. I don't know. Uh, what we'll do though, is we'll go back to here. We'll have a guard location. And then uh, we'll go back to the parent and uh, we'll try to rotate this on here. 90, there we go. And we'll kind of move them back up against the wall. So kind of what you could do is um, you have this uh, camera working here. You have this guy. Again, if you run, he's going to hear you. So instead of having him, you know, like that. No, I think that's fine. I, I think that uh, that's okay. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to get around him, um, but you can kind of just walk down here. Or if you want to, you know, pull him out of this room, uh, you could just do that. And then maybe you want to just sneak behind him. And there we go. And then... Uh, Kind of for another thing that we could do is uh, there is uh, gyms. So there's um, gyms here as a pickup item. And uh, we could place that right there. And uh, that will be a gym that we could use. So we could start this up. And then we can go and just sneak around this camera. Sneak around that guy, and you could take the long way of uh, just walking around here and picking it up. Um, or you could just run. Like this. And, uh, 
have him kind of go away and then you can pick it up or if we wait um, and he'll kind of go back to his spot or you could just uh, trigger this and then he will kind of investigate this area and then you can go around and you can pick this gym up and we'll put more gems around and we'll uh, have that kind of be something that, uh, you know, will kind of guide the player through the level. Um, and we could put gems in other kind of less uh, kind of obvious areas. So, um, you know, maybe uh, in this hallway we can put a gym here, uh, but this door is going to be locked. Um, so that's something that we can uh, definitely play around with. Uh, the idea of doing that. Uh, so yeah, um, I think um, we'll kind of end the video there. Um, I think that uh, this was kind of a nice video, uh, really building out this hallway and then placing out some of the first kind of gameplay elements. So uh, with that in mind, I want to thank everybody for watching this uh, second video for this fourth week. Um, I'm really actually excited because uh, top-down games are some of my favorite games to make and uh, yeah, I, I really like this toolkit. Um, it's a bit finicky. <laughs> I'm like, I, I want to move things around uh, and it's not allowing me to move things around sadly. So, um, but I think I can manage. Ugh. Excuse me. Uh, so I think uh, everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, but again, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. Um, if you have any feedback or any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you want to keep up to date on all these videos, uh, feel free to subscribe. And uh, you'll get notified whenever I make a new video, um, especially for this last week of October. Uh, this month has been really fun. And um, I am really glad that uh, you know I could make... All of these different levels and it's just really cool to see kind of the the process I've made in the last month so um, I really look forward to you know working more on this level uh, for this week and then uh, kind of going and, and seeing what is after this so um, you know, I want to thank everybody for watching and I hope you have a great night have a good one